Hello, this is Hawk Bean, and today we are going to reading level 100, also known as Silent Sounds. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival Difficulty, Class Undetermined, Mysterious Properties, Unknown Information, Undocumented Entities. Level 100 is the 101st level of the back rooms. Level 100 is a thin line of a beach surrounded by an ocean on either side of the path. Sometimes I wonder if I'm rereading a level that I already read once, but I'm not going to think about that. Description. Level 100 is comprised of a straight path of sand with an infinitely with an infinitely expanding ocean. The sand looks smooth with the path itself going on for an unknown amount of time. From the singular explorer that traveled here, however, sand trail doesn't seem to have an end point or a start point. Wait, did I get the name wrong? This might be Edge of the World. Hang on. No, I got the name I'm right. Okay, let's get back to this. From the a singular explorer that traveled here, however, the sand trail doesn't seem to have an end or start point. While going along this trail, one can occasionally encounter random objects. These objects will usually be personal belongings, like cell phones, photos, articles of clothing, and other small items that would be carried by an individual. Information on this level is limited due to only having been explored once. From the information learned, it seemed that going far enough down the beach trail eventually leads to the occasional gravestone. Carved on each one is a drawing of a face, although each drawing is childish and rudimentary. The explorers described them as looking calm, and though they're at peace, as well as faces, all the headstones have dates on them. It's currently unknown why they're there, but they are theorized to be the date of death, given that they're on a memorial. Both sides of the ocean of level 100 are infinite, as even after screaming for multiple after swimming for multiple minutes, the explorers say that the horizon never changed and the ocean just kept on expanding outwards. After taking some time to recuperate, the explorer decided to dive into the ocean depths. The ocean was mostly featureless, comprised entirely of sand. One can get a clear visibility under the water, which easily displays the endless ascent of the ocean floor, all comprised of nothing but sand, which eventually solidifies and clumps into rock. Basis, outposts, and communities. There are no known bases, outposts, or communities on this level. The Shadow The Shadow is an entity that is viewable only in one's peripheral vision. While there have been reports of the Shadow Orb on many levels and backrooms, the main residence for this entry is, is theorized to be level 100. Although it was initially believed to be invisible, the research has shown that the entity has extremely sophisticated camouflage, being able to accurately mask itself in the environment to the point where seeing it is almost impossible, leaving only its shadow visible. Meg interview log 8872. Date! August 31st, 2018. Interviewer, Alex Pater. Interviewee, Holly Clove. Begin interview. So, could you explain what happened, Miss Clove? Well, I was in level 11. I was just going around on my own. Everything seemed fine until I heard some chat on the road. I was curious because I thought it was you guys speaking. But it turned out to, well, it wasn't in one MEG. It was some different group. They started chasing me for whatever reason, so I started to run. I didn't want to enter any of the building because Patrick cuts Clove off. We know. We just as explained what happened. 
Not to be rude, but we're interested by your discovery. Right, well, after being chased for a while, I decided that I could just play dead. In hindsight, it's a terrible plan, but I thought it'd be worth a shot. I got out of sight of them for only a few seconds and used that as a chance to lay sprawled out on my stomach. I was near those faceless guys too, so I only assumed the attacking people thought I was killed by that. And then what? I was dead had they just left, but I was worried they were tricking me. It did seem like too much of an easy win. After laying there for a while, I felt something pick me up. Before I had a chance to react, I was stood on a thin strip of sand. There was some water either side, and it was all very bright and warm and tropical. I also couldn't see what took me, but I think it was some shadow creature, maybe? <laughs> Did you find anything there? Mm-hmm. As I walked, there were random items on the beach. I didn't pick them up, but there were pictures of people, phones, whole bits of clothes, and some other stuff, like lighters. Just stuff people would carry, you know? Anything else? There were some headstones the further I went. They didn't have names, only calm and relaxed faces and dates. It was weird. I didn't touch anything. You mentioned a thin strip of sand. Was there anything else there? Yeah, it was all just water. I went for a swim, just going hours for, for multiple minutes. I saw no change in the horizon. It was just ocean forever. I took some time to get my energy back, and then dived down. The, the seabed just went down forever, and all that sand just became rock. It was actually really clear under there, too. How'd you get out? Well, after I got out and got a quick photo, I decided to walk around a little more. After a few hours, I got really thirsty, so when I found a bottle, I was pretty happy. So I picked up the water bottle on the beach. I didn't grab it, I decided to take it to level zero. Anything else, miss? Uh, nope, that's all. Well, thank you, Miss Clove. That's all for now. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The true way of entry is currently unknown, since any attempts to recreate the original way inside have proved fruitless. Nevertheless, the previous way of entry was to play dead until the shadow transported you to level 100. The first time this happened was on level 11. Exits. To leave, one has to tamper with the objects and presumably gravestones scattered along the beach. Doing so will attract the presence of the shadow, who will then transport you to level 0. And that was level 100. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!